Very interesting question. What is my cure percentage? And I'd have to say zero because I don't cure anything. Okay, what I do is uh, help people heal. And that's very important to understand. In order to cure something, you're saying that there's something wrong. There's a disease, okay? So this goes back to the disease model, that there's a disease, a thing that got into us and we have to get rid of it, right? That's the medical model, the disease model, which just simply isn't true. And I'll discuss that at, at, at other times. But anyway, so you only cure diseases. So if there's no disease, you don't cure it. So that word, let's change the word. Let's look about, let's, let's look how many people are restored to health, because that's our goal. Most hospitals and, uh, and other uh, disease centers uh, should be forbidden to use the word healthcare because they don't, they're not involved in health. They don't study health. They don't know what it is. In fact, ask any doctor you, can, you ever meet. Ask them how many courses in health they took, and you'll see it's zero. You thought nutrition was bad? Health is zero. They don't study health. So if they don't study health, how can they help you be restored to it? But they can't. Think about how profound that is. It's not their field of health. It's only disease. So all they're going to do is manage your disease. They're going to put this over here and that over there, and you're still going to have the same problem later. Unless, of course, you broke your leg, it'll be better. And you had an acute problem, it'll be better. But anything else, anything that's sort of what we call chronic, uh, there's no answers for, okay? So anyway, how, what's the percentage of people being restored to health? Well, that percentage, actually quite high for those people who actually do the work. And the work when you have cancer is to be very serious and to change your life, turn your life around, get back to earth, come back down to earth, okay? Get your feet on the ground, eat real food, and, and there's all, all, m many things that have to, have to happen. But that's it, and people who are grateful, to, who have found a way, have found a way of healing rather than going into the hospitals where there's a military approach. They're happy and grateful they found a way that, that is a, a beautiful, wonderful path to take. Um, so anyway, with all of that in mind, the, the percentages of people that heal are 70, 80, very high. I, I don't gather statistics because I don't view people as subjects or cases. I'm not in that game. I, I don't think like that. I'm wearing a white shirt, but I would never wear a white coat. So it's not a matter of what I do. It's a matter of what the person who's on the journey does. Okay, if that person is able to say, thank God, I found a way. I know I'm going to make it. All I got to do is live right. These people make it, and they're serious about it, and they're happy. And I don't mean serious all the time. I mean, I, we require that you guys laugh a lot. Laugh a lot. Belly laugh, not chuckle. I want your diaphragm to go like this. I want you to laugh so hard. Laugh so hard that it hurts. Um, but anyway, so that's not what I meant by serious. So, what I, what, so this is it. That's who, make, that's, who, that's, who, that's who not only survives but thrives. Okay. So I hope that answered your question. And the other part of your question was, do we use chemo at all? Sure, we use low-dose chemo with insulin, very low-dose with insulin, insulin-potentiated low-dose chemo. I wrote about that. I, I made a post about it. Maybe we'll talk about it more later. But um, yes, in many instances, it's necessary for a short period of time, uh, depending on the tumor size, the tumor burden, and all sorts of things. But it's not the main thing we do, and we try not to do it. And when we do do it, we do it for a, a little time. So yes, in many cases, we do use low-dose chemo for a certain specific time. It accomplishes a lot. In small doses, it's actually very good. In a way, it's sort of like homeopathy. A little bit of something is does the opposite of what a lot would do. Low doses of chemotherapy actually stimulate the immune system. They're actually, they work quite well. It's kind of like homeopathy. A large amount of something will cause a problem, whereas an indetectable amount will, will, uh, uh, will, will, do, will be good. An example, a plant makes you vomit if you eat the plant. You take a small amount of it and you dilute it and succuss it and go through all the homeopathic processes uh, hundreds of times. When you have the final substance, which uh, on a molecular level, you can't even find the original plant, put that under your tongue, it'll prevent nausea or it'll stop nausea. So it's, that's amazing. That's homeopathy. Okay, so the same thing with chemo. When it becomes necessary to use um, in certain situations, we use it for a short time, a specific amount with insulin, and it's fantastic, does its job. So the answer to whether or not we use chemo is yes at certain times. That is never, uh, it's never the main um, tool. And in fact, there are many times people come in and don't want it at all and unhappy. We don't use it at all. We've got many other tools. And the most important tool 
is right here.